In this uh, lesson, we are going to learn about the electroplating. EG is an electrolysis process where we are going to coat a cheap metal with an expensive metal. Copper, silver, chromium, nickel. These metals are used to coat on iron generally to prevent it from corrosion and also uh, to have a beautiful appearance. For example, car bumpers are coated with chromium and even the taps in the bathrooms are coated with chromium. And sometimes even you can see the nails coated with copper to prevent it rusting. Silver coating is done in most of the cups, saucers, spoons and everything. They are coated with silver for us to have beautiful appearance. What is happening in electroplating? In the electroplating, you take, there is one condition that you have to remember. If you want to give a coating of copper on an object, the electrolyte must have the same thing. It, has the, it must have the ions of that metal. That means Cu2 plus ions must be present in large quantities in that solution. So you must take a concentrated solution of copper sulfate as an electrolyte. If you want to give a coating of silver, silver nitrate solution must be used as an electrolyte. If you are doing chromium coating, chromium nitrate should be used. A similar thing is used in nickel also. Now let us see what happens here in this reaction. You take a beaker. Inside the beaker, you put that coating. We are, let us say we are going to do silver coating. So I have a silver metal as an. Silver must be used as anode and silver nitrate must be my electrolyte. Silver nitrate is an electrolyte. And I have a spoon which, I, which is made up of steel. Steel means it's iron. And you want to coat this with silver nitrate. So you pass electricity. Normally the electricity that is used for this electroplating is the direct current. When we use alternating current, during one process, the metal will be deposited, but when the direction of the current changes, it is removed from there. So alternating current is not used for electroplating, only direct current is used. So here you have got a spoon. The moment you start passing electricity, you already know oxidation takes place at anode. The silver will start coming out from this one and it forms Ag+. So what is happening at anode is silver becomes Ag plus plus electron which is called oxidation because electron is produced, electron is lost, loss of electron is oxidation and this Ag plus it goes towards the cathode that means it goes into the electrolyte it may not be exactly the same Ag plus but the Ag plus ions from the electrolyte will go to the steel, steel and give a nice coating of silver on top of it. Okay, there will be a coating of silver on top of this bone. So what is happening at cathode? The same reaction but in the reverse way. That means a reduction takes place here. Ag plus plus electron gives Ag. Now what happened here? The concentration of the electrolyte do not change. If there are 5 moles of ions comes from this electrode the same five moles of ions goes from the electrolyte to this one that is the reason why must have we should have the same element present in both of them this is ag plus ions this is ag so the concentration of the electrolyte do not change okay the reason is the rate of oxidation of silver at anode is the same as the rate of reduction at cathode Electroplating is done to have a beautiful appearance or to prevent corrosion. If you are replace, if you are doing copper coating to the same spoon, you must remove the silver and replace it with copper. And remove the electrolyte and replace it with copper sulfate solution. It must be a concentrated solution so that enough ions are there to undergo reduction. So the silver undergoes oxidation. Ag plus ions from the solution undergoes reduction. Thank you.